Hey creative friends, today I'm going to do November colors from Makers of Mixed Media Art Artists Facebook group. It's the first time I've joined them. I've learned about them through Carrie Griffiths. He's a wonderful YouTube artist as well. And the uh, group itself is also works with P&M Artists, their YouTube channel as well. And I just thought, all right, I need to try. I need to try to push myself. And in this one, I don't have the exact colors, but I have close colors. And I'm using scrap paper to just try to figure out something that works. Carrie does a, a, a video also. I will link it in the show more section. I uh, initially didn't want to do anything holiday related because I wanted to just open my brain up a little bit. I have a lot of trouble unless I have an end result of what I want and doing something in a video. I try to do things to just show you, you don't have to be a precise, you don't have to be a uh, full-time artist. You just do something because it's fun. And so to me, the brown was the earth, the green was a plant, and the red was the flower or fruit. In all of this, it suddenly realized to me, oh my goodness, this reminds me of the cactus in the springtime. Our cactus, the saguaro cactus, has a white spring flower that eventually turns into a fruit that gets harvested. And if it's not harvested, oh, there's a picture here. This is from a Douglas uh, Taylor the saguaro cactus fruit. Uh, I was afraid of copyright infringement, so that's why I figured I'd put that in there. You can go check it out, what I'm talking about, if you're not from the area. All right, so I'm like, all right, I, I know what I want. Uh, we have the mountains, where the mountains kind of employ and all these little cactuses pop up from there. And so I decided that's where I'm going. Now, this is like, I'm just feeling it out. I'm just seeing if it's going to do what I want it to do. Um, I am not a professional artist, obviously. I am a crafter, and I like doing things. I like drawing. Sometimes my drawings come out really great, and sometimes they don't. In this case, I was very pleased with how things were going and decided I am going to use... I'm going to do this in my book. I have a book that's about 11 by 14 or 8.5 by 11. No, it's not 8. Is it? Yeah, I think it is an 8.5 by 11. And I just, I do bigger pieces in there. And I felt that this warranted me bringing in this particular um, piece. It was something I think worked well. I don't know that this is exactly what the Facebook group looks looks for. I think they look, f it might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm go off to go get my, my big art book. And we're going to put everything in there. And I'm going to speed it up because I just want to get to where that idea gets expanded. Okay. So for us out here where we live, there are a lot of mountains. And the mountains, if you look, if you go hiking around here, you will see a ton of saguaros in the distance. They look like little sticks that come up. And that's pretty much what I wanted to do is I wanted this to kind of look like the where all the, in the distance, all the saguaros were. So... That was that. And then I took, um, I, I don't have the exact green in my paint, but you are allowed to use black, white, and I think metallic, And I, but I didn't bring any metallics in. I, that one confused me. I still have to figure it out. I think part of what you have to do when you're doing something with a new group is just test it out and see if it goes where it needs to go. Now, I made the green a little darker. I added some black paint and a little white paint because I added too much black paint. And then I 
used a Q-tip to do the distance, the distance swaros. Um, I think even as I'm looking at it now, I think I could have done that a lot better. I think I could do another one and make it a little better. So this is the close-up on the cactus and all its friends in the back. Now, generally what happens when I see all these cactuses with their spring flowers, they always remind me of like a bridal veil. You know, remember back in the day they used to wear the flowers in a circle? I think sometimes in Renaissance fairs they make them. That's what these reminded me of, um, or they do remind me of when I see them. So what I was trying to do is just show the fruit the way you see it when it's, um, when it's bloomed and opens up. Now, generally the inside of the fruit is yellow, but because yellow wasn't an option, I, I put white. And so this is the result of my, <laughs> my using those three colors. I did end up adding another, uh, I did end up doing a wreath because I thought this, they're probably not going to like this. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm just like testing it out. We shall see. I think you should try it. I think if you're, you're trying to expand yourself or if you just want to do something that's fun, take those three colors and use them whatever way you see fit. You don't have to draw a picture. That, go to Kerry's video and you'll see what he does. And it's lovely. It really is. It's, I'm going to try to do that too. But I wanted to do something based on my first impression of using these colors. I enjoy talking to you guys through this. I hope you enjoy participating. Please like, share, and comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, I certainly would appreciate it. I'm trying to work to a thousand people this before Christmas. So take care and I'll talk to you tomorrow.